unbelief is the result of arrogance belief is the result of humility greetings to you in the precious name of our lord jesus christ welcome to the 17th day of a journey from wilderness to calvary my dear brothers and sisters many of us are so proud of our strengths at the same time when we have 99% of our strength and 1% of weakness this 1% of weakness pervades the whole of 90 99% of strengths and that's where we get disappointed instead of looking at the strengths we look at the negatives well my dear brothers and sisters today the first reading taken from the second book of kings chapter 5 verses 1 to 15 gives us this beautiful story about naaman who was very strong a mighty soldier a commander of the army he was good in many ways but to his bad luck he had a small weakness of his health that he was suffering from leprosy my dear brothers and sisters this leprosy was healed with the guidance of the servants where the servants were looked down but here in this episode we find the servants encouraging the naaman the commander of the army to get healed or in other words they become the instruments of the healing in the life of naaman naaman when he hears the slave girl telling him to go and meet a prophet in israel naaman tries and tries his ways to go and meet prophet elisha well my dear brothers and sisters naaman goes to the door of elisha stands there with the gifts and then elisha doesn't even come out he sends his servant go and tell him to go and wash himself seven times in the river jordan naaman full of pride full of arrogance he says how dare he tells me this don't we have the rivers we have big big rivers in our place why should i go and wash myself in the jordan unbelief is the result of arrogance he had this arrogance in him he was a, no doubt he was a mighty warrior a commander of the army but at the same time he had weakness of his flesh sickness but he never bothered because his arrogance was not allowing him my brothers and sisters again we find the servants intervening him and telling him sir if the master if the prophet would have told you to go and do much more greater work than these would you not have done that why don't you go and wash yourself my brothers and sisters that's where he humbles and then goes and washes himself in the jordan and his skin becomes purely white my brothers and sisters just notice between arrogance and humility unbelief and belief he believed in god and in the word of god and therefore he humbled himself and there he was restored to good health he had unbelief which was filled with arrogance that made him not to approach the pool of healing or the river of healing i think my dear brothers and sisters this was the same problem that was persisting in the people of nazareth that's what we read in today's gospel taken from the luke gospel of luke chapter 4 verses 24 to 30 where because of their arrogance they were looking out to jesus and telling jesus perform a miracle perform a sign as you performed in various places come perform the miracle but jesus was indignant he didn't perform rather he was giving an example of the widow of zarafath to whom prophet elisha visited and then during the famine of 3 and 1/2 years only she was visited and she was fed by elisha why because she had a hope she was, she was with full of faith full of humility and full of trust in god in the similar way naaman gives you know this man converted changes himself from arrogance 
to humility and that's how he was given he was he was healed jesus says unless and until you become like these two you cannot have the grace and healing in your lives or miracles be performed in your lives my dear brothers and sisters as we are in the season of lent how much of humility that we have gained through our fasting penance and charitable works how often we get into unbelief and increase our arrogance day by day by our logical thinking by our logical way of dealing with things you know why should i do this why should i do that if i do this will this happen like for a small example when you go for confession with just absolution of the priest will my sins be forgiven with a small uh, word of penance will my sins be forgiven here is a proof my dear brothers and sisters naaman just went and dipped seven times and he was clean because the word of god proceeded to him it was not by washing because of his obedience in the same way when we know and go and kneel before a confessional and ask for mercy it is because of our obedience because of our belief our sins will be forgiven as naaman has cleansed himself and and he got healed may we also get healed by approaching to a confessional making ourselves clean amen if you like this small piece of reflection kindly share comment and like and don't forget to contribute your little share of charity towards our brother vijay who is trying to promote this liturgy tv channel my dear brothers and sisters if you calculate 5 rupees per day for 40 days reflection it just comes to 200 rupees 200 rupees is not much this can be one way of charity charitable work that you can help promote this channel god bless you and have a wonderful day